you want to know even before you start building if your report is really solving a big problem and is going to have an impact, if it really generates value for the business, not that it's going to end up with a big pile of unused reports. All right, so that gives you basically the why. Why should your report exist? Then also you need to know, okay, who is going to use your report, which then will also impact the what. That will serve as the foundation and you want to document that and break it down further into different decisions that your report is going to help with. And by setting up such a document, you can create clarity, which serves throughout the whole report development process, also with your communication with the stakeholders. And that is my next point. All right, so we get to engaging the stakeholders. Let's say we have you, the Power BI developer, and you want to engage with the stakeholders because the stakeholders, they have the business knowledge. And you need to make sure that you're in constant communication. Now, you don't want to start the project, have these requirements that you gather at the beginning, and then all the way sprint till the end and deliver it. No, you want to engage them at the beginning and also throughout the entire process. And in that way, you also get a better business understanding, the stakeholders get a better understanding of what is possible and new ideas will pop up and can be integrated. Another one that's maybe not that obvious at the beginning, and that is that you can already get some buy-in. Plus, a third point, we can build some authority. That brings me to point number three, iterate. Iteration is often better than aiming to sprint to the finish line in one go. All right, and that process is often actually quicker than trying to do it in one go, plus it leads to a better result. All right, so iteration over perfection. Then, number four, once your report is done, do not just send it to the users and that's it. Instead of that, promote your report. So that brings me to point four. Now here you want everybody that should be using your report to hear about your report and why they should be using it. And how you can do that is first of all, by for example, training or small workshops. Number five, do not just assume that everybody knows how to use your Power BI reports. 